A really easy way to make your screens look more interesting visually is by playing with the way light uh, works on your screen. So we're already kind of doing that a little here. So we've got some gradient uh, fills on these images, on the shapes for this object. So we're kind of going from dark to light and then here it's darker and then we've got a slightly dark gradient in here. So by uh, modifying those colors there, changing the way the colors and the gradients work, it gives that appearance of depth. So you can do the same thing with drop shadows and using shadows is going to do two things for you. One is going to make your screen look more interesting. The other is based on how you use the shadows uh, you can really direct the learner's attention to specific parts of the screen uh, when you want them to do that. So let's look at a few simple ways to create shadows. So in PowerPoint 2007 they have a shadow tool so if you have that just go to the shape effects and then you've got a drop shadow tool and you can just select a shadow. So we'll just um, select this, this downward one and then um, let's modify it a little. So if you right click on it, it opens up your format shape options. We can hit the shadow editor and then we can uh, play with the shadow effects and we make it a little bigger and blur it. And then you can see now what was a flat folder is kind of pulled away from the screen. So using the drop shadows really makes your screen that much more dynamic. Um, in this case it's real exaggerated. You don't want to exaggerate every shadow because then it doesn't look right. Um, let's go backwards here and we'll turn off the shadow. Um, what if you don't have PowerPoint 2007? Well you can create your own shadows. You just have to be somewhat creative. So we'll do something real fast. Let's take the rounded rectangle tool and then we'll just um, uh, put a box shape underneath the folder. We'll fill it with gray, turn off the outline and we'll send it to the back here. And then we've got a simple drop shadow now and if you want to you can make this. We'll make it a little more exaggerated. You can uh, format the shape and, and uh, work with the transparency on it. The reason I use a rounded rectangle is because you can make it more organic. If you want to you can play with the gradient fills. So by um, how you use the gradient fills uh, you can uh, change up how the shadows look. So it's just a matter of getting in there playing around. But uh, if you don't have PowerPoint 2007 you can still create uh, some shadow effects. A neat feature in PowerPoint 2007 is the freeform uh, tool. So uh, let's create a shape here and then I'm going to right click on the shape or not right click. I'm going to go to format and I'm going to convert this to a free form. And now when I right click on it I can edit the points. And so I can now make uh, this shape a little bit more organic. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change these corners a bit here. And uh, that'll mean it's a little, the curves getting away from the straight line doesn't have to be perfect, but getting away from the straight line is going to look more natural when you work with the shadows. So we're going to fill this with gray and we're going to get rid of the outline. And then we're going to, um, if you think of light, light kind of falls away and starts to diffuse. Um, and same with the shadow. So let's go ahead and uh, soften the edges on this, which I can do in PowerPoint 2007. So we're going to soften the edges. We're going to send this to the back. And now we can play around with the size of the shape. And we'll just uh, do this here. Let's scrunch this down. So you can see um, just by the way we use the shadow it looks like there, this might be curved here or something's curved. Maybe the folder's curved. Um, you know you can play around with it. We've got the shadow here. You've got a slight separation. So uh, that makes it seem more organic. Um, you can you know drop it down a little. So you can see how uh, using the freeform tool makes your shadows look more interesting. So the other thing you can do as well is uh, let's edit the points so you can play around uh, with those points and you know uh, do whatever you want to with them. Uh, and so it's just a matter of what what's going to work uh, for you in the way you build your course. So um, use the drop shadow tools that you come with PowerPoint 2007. Create your own shadows using shapes or use the freeform tool to create your own shadows. And uh, just play around with some ideas. I think you're going to um, find some interesting things. I kind of like this one here where it's, um, it's kind of got that rounded hump to it. So it's just a matter of getting in there and playing around and see what works for you.